I, I, I'm exhausted. I walked 500 miles to get here tonight. Oh, wow. And I would have walked 500 more. I don't think you would have. Just so I could say I walked 1,000 miles. Hey, what? everybody. It's uh, yeah. I almost said Friday night. It's Monday night. Yes. June 13th. Somehow we're in the middle of June already. Episode 106. 106. <laughs> in film Fest. It's Benny in June 13th. It is Benny in June. How about that? What is, uh, let me see. This is our 132nd movie <laughs> that we have watched together and gathered to discuss. And of course, if you're at home thinking, well, I, I, I've i seen Benny in June. I've got a, thoughts and opinions about Johnny Depp. Um, you know, you be the judge. No, um, you, you, you can join us. How would they join us, Dan? Oh, my goodness. It's so easy. All they have to do is go to AeroDanLive.com. That's AeroDanLive.com. Operators it's are standing so by. Simple. It's simple. Or you can even go AeroDanXYZ. It's it's just that easy. both. And so, yeah. And so you join us, and then we get together, and we talk about the movie. We pick another movie. We talk about other things on TV or whatever, wherever you're watching, consuming content. It's going to be a fun night. Um, and uh, maybe controversial. It could be. Now, we've got people in the waiting room yeah. or the green room, whatever you want to call it. And we have people that just watch and comment in the comments, which you're That's allowed true. to do. If you're including, shy. Including the guy who's been on more shows than either of us. Adam. Mr. A. Whoa. He's in Marysville right now for work. I don't know where that is. That's in Washington. Washington? Well, there you go. Well, we're glad that he's here too. And now we can bring uh, so other people in. We're gonna start bringing some people in. I think. Uh, are you gonna, gonna see how quick you are with the buttons? Because we're gonna bring in the Britney bunch. Wow. Oh my goodness, Cody! I'm sorry, Britney. The the, the the graphic covered code. I was oh, covered up. <laughs> if you want to run it, run. Wow. There we go. There you go. Hey, that was, that was us last night watching this movie. <laughs> well, you, 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 you took your cat over? No. No, no that's my cat. No. Whose cat is that? Huh? I don't that know. That one is your cat. You have that's the black, black cat. cat. He does right. have a black cat. I didn't know you had a cat. Mm -hmm. really? Their See cat what? barely has a tail. Really? Its name yeah, is No. Only like that one. He looks like a bumper car. You know how they like. <laughs> Like <laughs> and then when it gets excited, it wags yeah. like a windshield wiper. Just... Wow, that is very exciting. And then when yeah. he pees, it squirts like a windshield wiper. Oh, and you guys, oh, 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 and you guys oh, oh, brought a friend. We did. We did. All right, we're gonna bring in. Uh, well, let's bring in your friend. <laughs> Brian, hey, Morphin time all the way from Maine. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for joining us. That's oh, so thank fun. you guys. Yeah, that's awesome. I, th I, I, we hope you have a wonderful time and just and speak your mind honestly. <laughs> I, I will. I will try. Yeah. You know, because that's that's part of the fun. Uh, speaking of the fun, let's uh, bring in Stacy and Wade. <laughs> Got the writers here. Hello, hello, hello. hello. Hi, yeah. So on. nice. It's still daylight now. Like I know. It's weird. Yeah. So like, yeah, it's it's a little feels... different than it usually is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Speaking yeah. of different than it usually is, I'm sorry, Dave. This conversation can serve no purpose anymore. So Casey gets speaking of the fun. And I get because, speaking of different than it usually is. <laughs> well, different is because, not bad. Well, you're a humiliated grape this week. That's different. <laughs> because we are awesome. That's why, Dave. Come on now. You just got to be up more awesome and you'll be the fun. I wasn't awesome enough to stay in Beaver County. What can I say? Ah, uh, that, that explains. Well, it's yeah, and once you get out. <sighs> Wade, Wade came in. Yeah. He's not from here. <laughs> He's an outsider. Yeah, he mm -hmm. is. Definitely. You guys go to the Westmoreland Dare show? <laughs> no. Go over uh, some Garrison Days? You're going to go to Garrison Days? <laughs> I've never been to Garrison Days, ever. Or Garrison Keeler. Oh, sorry, I was going to say, what about Garrison Keeler? Have you been there? Um, 
Nope. Awesome. Well, you know, and, and we still have spots available. As you can tell, we can take at least two more people on. So if you're watching and you're like, well, I'd like to get in on Dave, that. Dave's like, I want friends. <laughs> Dave, Dave's so lonely. Oh, well, hold on. We can, we can. There you go, Cody. Uh, you just want the full Brady Bunch look, don't you? Nice. Two more people and we've got the full Brady. Actually, we can Brady. If we get the I can send Richard to his computer in his own little video window. <laughs> I would take care of one. <laughs> That's all right. We'll leave it open. If somebody wants to join, that's cool. Uh, if not, we'll just keep rotating uh, who's in the Does that make Brian Alice if this is the Brady Bunch? I was trying to, was you trying to figure out who I would have been. Yeah, I think it is Alice. Alice in the middle. He's in, yeah. he's in uh, Whoopi I Goldberg. I'm Cindy. <laughs> no, I'm Marsha. <laughs> I'm Marsha. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Marsha, Marsha, be. I'd rather be Jan. Oh, my name <laughs> oh. Okay. Every time I laugh, my computer moves. Oh right, no! You're, you need us to you're, you're Greg. <laughs> Wait, that makes Eric, Mike, and and Cody Carol. Oh no, Eric's Carol. Yeah. You can live with that special guest star Vincent Price, Lawrence Henderson. <laughs> All right, are we getting into this? Let's get into this. Benny and June, uh, 1993, a romance on the brink of reality. Johnny Depp, Mary Stewart Masterson, Aiden, Aiden Quinn, Julian Moore, Oliver Platt, and CCH Pounder. Um, you know, I could not find a budget for this movie at all. Neither could they. Um, worldwide gross <laughs> between 20 and 30 million, depending on where you look. Uh, and the critics coming in, uh, Rotten Tomatoes, 76%. Audience at an 85%. Uh, and Brittany... I juggled everybody. This movie is brought to you in part by Brittany, who is wearing, I believe, the one of a kind, not only super limited edition uh, Power Rangers shirt, the only Power Rangers shirt pulled. not pulled down <laughs> from the store for copyright infringement. <laughs> so Brittany snagged one before it, it got pulled down. No way. It got pulled down. Yeah, I just I just was in the store and got the and saw the notice that it it's been rejected as a design. So you got the only one in existence. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's, That's awesome. Yeah. So is so that because of the uh Krispy Kreme? I'm sure it's it's too close to Krispy Kreme. Yeah. It's exactly Krispy Kreme. Parody. It's a you're allowed to parody. You're not yeah. Yeah, yeah that doesn't it. make any sense. No, it makes no sense because it wasn't original artwork. It was all, I mean, it was all original artwork. It was not. That's dumb. It is dumb. <laughs> Fine. Well, uh, right off, yeah. All right. Yeah. So let's start the movie by saying one thing right off the bat. How many people thought Johnny Depp was Benny? Like before you see the movie, yeah. you're like, maybe, maybe before I saw the movie. I, he was I, right. I mean, once you see the movie, you realize he's not. Right. I assumed he was Benny or June. Right. <laughs> no, he was the Jets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there definitely needed to be a, a name change there. I didn't really feel like the movie was very much about Benny. I mean, Benny like a little June bit. And Sam. Yeah, there needed to be a little bit more there. Sam and June. It should have been called Benny, June, and the Tree Man. <laughs> so I, I have a feeling Brittany current events might have helped spur on your movie choice this week. <laughs> yeah, I told you I've been on a Johnny Depp kick from this whole trial thing. But even in general, this is a movie that I've wanted to watch. Um, like it's just a good one that I watch. We've had it on our shelf, and every time I look over there, like the font of it kind of pops out. <laughs> and it's one of like, like the few that's on the shelf with all the like, video games so you have like movies movies and then games but our movies are kind of like spilling over I'm do i right play now. dark souls yeah. or do i watch benny and june yeah. <laughs> the question really is what would the benny and june video game be like oh boy <laughs> there'll be art involved um but yeah so i had already wanted to watch it and then obviously stuff with the trial came up and i you know have been on a johnny depp kick i watched edward scissorhands i did all the pirates i'm you know, but then I was like, oh, I'll save this one. It was on my Airdan list anyways. And so then I got my name picked and I was like, okay, Benny and June. That's awesome. Strike while the like, iron yeah, I enjoyed it. I'm sure a lot of you, I'm sure there's going to be like a lot of maybe not as good ratings as mine, but I really enjoy it. Um, it's a little slow mm -hmm. for sure, but I think, I don't know, Johnny Depp cracks me up like the whole movie. Like his character is just so fascinating because part of me wants to think that he has some mental illness too 
But then the other part of me is like, he. There's a couple scenes where he's so normal. Yeah, it, they left that open. They really did. Yeah, they yeah. really did. Mm -hmm. And like, he can't read. Okay, so he's dyslexic. Maybe like that was one thing I was reading, like a mm -hmm. theory. You might have like, a little OCD. To... Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But like, he just you know on the chair and get in the corners and the the bread feet. I can't. I can't. That whole scene in the diner. Um, I, I have to compare it to the. Um, to the version from Chaplin the year before, because that they did the exact same scene in Chaplin. Yeah, yeah. that was from one of the movies, Charlie yeah. Chaplin movie. Yeah, it was from the yeah, it was from the Chaplin movie. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember which one, but yeah, yeah, I don't remember the Gold I'm Rush. Not that old. Oh, the Gold, the Gold Rush. Rush. Oh, it's weird. There was just a year later, though. That was the strange thing to do that same scene. You yeah. know, one sort of paying homage to Chaplin, the other, even though it's more Keaton based, is sort of paying homage to the silent film stars. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't know, I, I didn't think it was slow. slow. <laughs> I didn't think it was slow at all. I thought the entire anything that was that felt slow was character development. I thought that yeah. it was all part of building the backstory and the understanding of these characters. When a movie's slow to me is when nothing's happening. That's was, true. Was Adam talking about the movie being slow or Johnny Depp's character being slow? <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely think it was Johnny Depp's character. I thought the movie. There it I, is. I, I thought it started a little slow, but then I, I, it, I felt it picked up. Like at first, I'm like, "Oh my god, is this whole movie going to be this?" And then I felt like it was like ten minutes in. All of a sudden, I felt like it moved. Yeah, a little what bit. is it? Yeah, Richard, Richard said it kind of picks up once, like Johnny Depp's character comes, like really comes in. Actually, I think it was when they when she won him in the poker game, and he's like, "Okay, now's where the movie that. gets good. Like now's yeah. where it picks up. Like, yeah, uh, their interaction." Yeah, yeah, their interactions I really think were, were really I'd like good. to do a poker night like that. <laughs> I'm down. I'm down. I don't have a lot of money, but I will totally like throw I, I do have questions about how you're adding value because they were all very given, no matter what people put in, it was fine. Well, it was, it was a general, obviously, it was a gentleman's agreement, is you know, it's a, it's we're going to trust you to put in. Occasionally, if it's really bad, someone might call you on it, but yeah, yeah, yeah someone called him on something. I can't remember what it was. Uh, the paint on painting uh, yeah the inside of the house yeah <laughs> i also found it interesting that he couldn't get her car to, to work he's like a mechanic and he, i mean i know he wanted to give her a ride home well he w what happened was didn't he say like the fuel injector was bad yeah. and he had to put a yeah she needed in. a new fuel pump yeah yeah, you yeah it was a vega i thought it was out of oil problem <laughs> or the water pump went. well the problem was it was a vega yeah that was that was the problem <laughs> yes yeah, so i drove one of those before <laughs> Did she plan that? Did she Suzanne Vega. ruin her car to make him drive her home? No, she didn't do that. It was a really good coincidence. I didn't what like her. I'm curious what your I was gonna say. I'm curious what your guys' thoughts are on Ruthie's character because mm -hmm. these two over here, mm -hmm. mostly Cody actually, was like super irritated when they were talking about like when he uh, Benny said his life was complicated and she got mad and got out of the car. <laughs> mm -hmm. She just left. Oh, that was that yeah. was well, well, and then she like, said it didn't do him. I got the yeah. impression she's been blown off before with basically that same well, line. She can calm and down. just has had enough. She can and then she uses the same line like back at him. Yeah. Later. Yeah. So, well, yeah, and then like, Brittany's like, Well, he said it first. I'm like, Yeah, that's what leads to divorce when you have that mindset. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, you don't play games. Hey, you don't play games. He Actually, said that was first, one real him. criticism of the movie was and it, it didn't make it didn't ruin the movie for me in any way, but I felt that I think I would have liked the movie better if they hadn't given Benny Ruthie as a love interest because I felt that that made his ability to let June move on. It gave him an easy way out. Yeah, he had something new in his life, so he was willing to give her something new in her life. Whereas I think it would have been a bigger conflict for him if he was then left home alone, if you will. With yeah. his life now facing life without June for the first time and possibly his whole life, right? And they, they could have made a second a, a one little bit of a get out of jail card that I thought was a bit of a script writing laziness. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it did fair. seem really like on the nose. Yeah, yeah. how convenient. Yeah. I uh, right. yeah. I, the thing I didn't like about it was, and it's probably because of when it was made, but them trying to force Ruthie into a group home. Not really June. June, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Getting all the names mixed up. I'm trying to force June into a group home. And I thought, what the heck? 
he, he's lived with her this long. Why are they forcing him? Why does he have no choice? What is the problem here? I didn't understand that at all. And to me, I don't think that that would happen now. I think people can, and maybe in the nineties, it was still happening that you, you have to have her put in a group home. You cannot take care of her yourself, which was baloney. Cause she and was who's going to pay for this group home. Exactly. Well, I think the idea was that she was getting more stressed out by her interactions with him, which would then like anytime she got stressed, it would trigger her to do something super off the wall, like going out and trying to stop traffic with the ping pong. Paddle. You saw, yeah. You saw how she reacted in the bus. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The bus. True. Yeah. And I didn't see the ping pong paddle because our movie yeah, took a dive. Did we? Yeah. We saw that part. Oh, I missed that part. Or she's wearing a snorkel mask and stuff. And actually, the the pain is not an issue if she is a if she is an adult who is incapacitated. Generally, it is on the, she becomes a ward of the state, and they right. pick up the bill. Right, but yeah. she was not that incapacitated. Maybe it was the script writing. Maybe it was the mm -hmm. acting. I was just like, that's not believable that they would be trying to force him to put her into. Well, a keep in mind though, she. And and actually, it's one of the one of the scenes that was changed. I read in the trivia, but she she also was a bit of a pyromaniac. You know, oh, they yeah, they did say fire. that. Yeah, we didn't see that a lot. So. Well, it's a little bit of it, and apparently one of the in, the... in an earlier version of the script, she burned down the house. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I thought that that was going to happen. I did when she put the, the fire in the sink. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I yeah, was like, oh, there goes the house. Yeah. I was yeah. waiting for the bad thing, and I, I was, was like, ready that's it. Like, well, like, mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, no, they just left. I and they like did, were definitely, like, there the were definitely pot happening in the sink when they walked away. Yeah. Now, see, uh, wow. Yeah, I, I didn't even think of that. But they did talk about her lighting things on fire, but it was not enough for it to trigger. Yeah, they didn't really emphasize it much. Yeah. Yeah, that she was going to burn the house down. Interesting. I almost felt like back then movies were shorter, obvi obviously shorter than what most movies are now. Mm -hmm. And yes, I felt like yeah. they, they were rushed to get to the end of the story. Had this movie been made in current age, I feel like we probably would have got a lot more of that backstory or possibly like another story it would have been slower is what you're saying cody <laughs> yeah, I was say, you are they would have they would have made it even shorter nowadays i think it probably yeah, yeah. um yeah because yeah. they, they kind of rushed whenever he got mad at at sam and right and uh, oh yeah i mean that was just kind of like instant i mean that was they dropped the f bomb fast. yeah yeah and i forgot about that <laughs> yeah I think it was kind of like a like a commentary on the, you know, like how it, it was so like common back then to, to like, you know, even nursing homes and that type of stuff, group homes. Yeah. So that's how I took it. Like when we were talking about that, um, yeah. I, I took it as like a commentary, like you're you're kind of like like bringing this to light kind of thing. Well, it's, it's no one flew over the cuckoo's nest. No, <laughs> no. not at all. Well, no. Having worked. Having a wife who worked in the mental health field for a good 10 to 15 years um, out of college, she found a lot of this very trite, right? That they didn't really deal right. with mental health issues, which I get it. It's it's, mm -hmm. it's a romantic comedy right. for the most part, right. right? Where they have this, but she found it very trite and not okay. very deep. That makes me feel validated. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, there that, really wasn't a lot of depth to that yeah. part of I it. Just, there wasn't enough Johnny to Depp. believe it. Johnny Depp. <laughs> there was I enough to believe Depp. that they were really trying to force him. I forgot how pretty he was at that age. <laughs> he, he was, was 30. Really young, he was man. already 30. He, he was, but he was still, he was a pretty guy. I mean, he was 30. You know, young, Eric. What are you talking yeah. about? Yeah, yeah I look good. I'm not even 30. And he yet. did look younger than 30. He's so old. No, I'm kidding. He looks like he's like 18. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he and it, it reminded me of how. F Johnny Depp has these quirks in most of his performances. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, whether it's Edward Scissorhands, whether it's Benny and June, whether it's Pirates of the Caribbean, he always plays a bit of a quirky guy. Yeah, you but know. Pirates of the Caribbean, he was just doing... Uh, sure. Yeah, Keith Richards. Keith but, Richards. Uh, Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. But yeah, in this movie, he also had some very mm. traditional scenes, if you will. Some you know, scenes where he's clearly acting. He's playing a role, but he's mm -hmm. playing it effectively. And I felt that later in his career, the the quirky, wacky side of his persona came to dominate most of his performances, you know, sort of characterized in things like The Lone Ranger, yeah. where... <laughs> Never saw it. Oh, oh wow. that is an underrated bother. movie. Don't bother. Still oh. good. 
Next week. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> See, you froze because of that. Yeah, I, really, I don't know. I appreciate his quirkiness in this. It's a different yeah. kind of quirky than some of his mm -hmm. other stuff. It was, I, don't know, I enjoyed it's it. It's balanced with, his, with other physical. parts of his character. It isn't all quirky. Did anybody else feel this movie was a little bit like Silver Linings Playbook? Yes. <clears throat> I haven't seen that for a while, so I can't remember. It's been a couple of years. There's some truth to it. Yeah, that, was, see that. that was one of ours. I don't know if you were on it for that. We That was one of the ones we did here. Yeah. I wrote down... Uh, because I was, I was remembering. I think it's uh, what's eating Gilbert Grape. Yes. And I think that's why you have your. Is that is that your your name right there? You no, actually, that's from this movie. Oh, it was okay. Yeah. It's when she's right. explaining why she doesn't like raisins. Raisins. Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. yes. The whole, I the liked whole, that. That was yeah, good. the whole advertising yeah. that they did too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, uh, I don't know. I just I, I wrote that down because I, I remember that movie, but only vaguely. Mm -hmm. So, but I know he's in it too. So. The thing I noticed is how much I really, really believe that he and Helena Bonham Carter are really, really related. He looks <laughs> just like her. Mm -hmm. you know, this scene, they showed it. I'm like, oh my gosh, what, what's she doing there? <laughs> just a full on face. In the hair. In the hair. Okay, and they, so. they are brother and sister. Or and something. that was in Planet of the Apes. What? <laughs> when she was in Planet of the Apes. She oh, was in full ape makeup and she still looked like him. Oh, jeez. Whoa. Yeah, I just, I don't know. Well, I, I, oh, that's right, Dan. I actually am going to do, we haven't done this segment in a while. I'm prepared. Are you ready? Oh, Let's I'm ready for it. it. So freaky. Now, this movie had more casting changes than. <laughs> A lot of movies. First off, when, I, when I, we first talked about this, I said, "Is it Johnny Depp and uh, his girlfriend at the time?" Why am I forgetting? Winona Ryder. Winona Ryder, and it was supposed to be. That's so weird. It was supposed to be Winona Ryder, but she quit after they broke up. Oh, mm -hmm. wow! So yeah. that's kind of interesting. But the very original cast was Tom Hanks and oh. Julia Roberts. <laughs> Julia Roberts. No. And then Tim Robbins and Susan Sarandon, oh my they're gosh. married. And then they finally had their their casting place: Johnny Depp, Woody Harrelson, and Laura Dern. And that actually would have worked because, interestingly, I thought Laura Dern's character in Love Actually reminded me a little bit of of some of this movie. Harrelson's contract would have given him top billing. Oh, and cool. when, yeah. and when Laura Dern found out, who has just been nominated for an Oscar, she said. Uh, I quit. Oh, my she was gonna God. be third build. Wow. Harrelson followed soon after because he really got the role in uh, Indecent Proposal, and they eventually sued him for five million for leaving, and settled for five hundred thousand. Oh, is that the amount? Wow. I did, I did not know that. Uh, to bring it into the car world, Clutch Radio every Saturday ten a.m. Mm -hmm. The Chevy El Camino that Benny drives in the film was bought from a local Spokane, Washington guy and it was all beat up and crappy they fixed it inside and out and then they sold it back to the guy at the end of the movie mm. you think they could have just done that yeah. yes uh, it did sound pretty good mm -hmm. yeah. as soon as I saw so, William H. Macy hanging around the uh, the mechanics shop I was like no he's going to he's gonna commit fraud with GMAC <laughs> I know the first thing I thought too I'm like wait are we tying our movies in here <laughs> just kind of random uh Mary Stuart Masterson told Jeremiah Chechnik, Chechik that she did not remember filming the bus scene. Hmm. She totally forgot it. Wow. And Benny's character originally was scripted to be a New York psychiatrist, not a mechanic. Hmm. Oh, my. Hmm. That's very different. That it is. Is. I, don't think that would not, I don't think that would have worked like at all. Oh. And the dancing role scene in Gold Rush is the one that uh, Sam does where he's right. emulating Buster Keaton. Mm -hmm. That's but Charlie it's a Charlie Chaplin, Chaplin thing. Yeah. yeah. And, he was uh, together. Yeah. And during the coupon Joker game or poker game or Joker, Oliver Platt, who I think everything he's in is funny. 
He's funny. He sings Salad Shooter. Oh, salad I know. Shooter, like the just like in the commercial. I love how they had the Salad Shooter. They had the Pocket Fisherman. Yep. <laughs> Ron Popeil. The late Ron Popeil was very well <laughs> represented. Yes. That's all I got. <laughs> and I'm getting post-COVID cough. Thank you. Congratulations. And somebody's <laughs> typing away. Uh, Cody's not there. He had to, he's, laundry. he's flipping his laundry. He's, he's <laughs> uh, we do have Adam had a comment that he likes Depp's performance, but other than that, the movie was blah. Because, you know, Adam. <laughs> this is no movie for old men. This is uh, th that was pretty tame, I think, for Adam. So we'll see what his score is, though. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. And speaking of scores, we're we doing this. It might be time. Yeah. Right. It's time. Dan, take us around the horn. All right. We go around the horn. We, of course, oh. have to start. Oh, sorry I'm there. Sorry Brian. That just ruined <laughs> <Sorry, laughs> it. Be... First <laughs> timer. I'm on the spot. <laughs> I love this movie. I don't know. I love um the character of Sam in it. I think it's super fun, super uh like whimsy. Um I don't know. I, I'm gonna give it a 96. Wow. Are you Stephen oh, wow. PH or Stephen with a V? I'll let you guess. Uh, <laughs> like like matching fish. Go ahead. Um well I'm pretty sure the copy that we watched was my copy um on the bookshelf. I've I've seen this movie so many times. It used to be like one of my favorite movies. Um so uh it was enjoyable to watch it again just like it normally is for me. So uh this one gets a 78 for me. All right. Since we're doing couples, let's go over to the writers. Well, I think I had seen this before or bits and pieces of it. It might have been just on TV or something. We had it on because some things were really familiar. Um, it was slow. I agreed with Adam when he said that. And it was sort of blah. I will admit that. But it was a 90s movie. And like I've said before, 90s movies, just they're a little bit different. They're not... There is something to watch that is not, it's not horrible. So <laughs> that's, that's, I, that's criteria, I guess. Right. Um, and I like Aiden Quinn. I, I liked all the character, the people in, who played their characters. I think they did a good job. Um, I did like Ruthie. Um, it's funny to see her so young. It's funny to see all of them young. Mm -hmm. I had to look up the year of the movie because I wasn't sure when it was. Um, Johnny Depp was okay in this. I, I didn't think he was like an Oscar winner or anything for it. And I, I actually agree with Richard. I think it's a 78. Okay. <laughs> um, I did, I did kind of like Mary Stewart masters in this performance. She, I thought she was pretty good in it. Um, and Johnny Depp's, you know, characterizations of Charlie Chaplin and, Buster Keaton. Keaton was uh, was pretty good. I mean, I remember watching a lot of those things when I was a kid because mm -hmm. they were on, put on TV back then. Nowadays, you'd have to go look it up on uh, your phone or something. But yeah, um, we did watch a Buster Keaton movie <laughs> in in Aridin. Well, the, he is in a uh, he is in one of those uh, those beach movies too. I can't remember which one it was. Oh yeah, he was in it's a mad 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 world among the yeah, movies. Yeah, he was in that too. Yeah, it was kind of interesting seeing him, you know, Old. year years later like that. Uh, anyways, I'm going to give it a 78. Really? Yeah. Okay. Is that what you said? Yeah. Very popular. <laughs> 78 very and popular. Richard did too. <laughs> yeah. Cody, Cody. Hello, hello. Hello. Um, I love this movie a lot. I enjoy Johnny Depp's acting in it. I enjoy uh, just the. It, it reminds me a lot of I shouldn't I shouldn't say a lot because I don't think it's as good as this movie. But the the movie called The Other Sister, um, it reminds me a lot of that where it's two mentally handicapped people um, falling in love, and mm. it, it's a very enjoyable movie. 
But this reminds me of that a little bit without the quality of the storytelling and the character development. Um, but I, again, I do really enjoy this movie a lot. I think Johnny Depp, um, in my life, this was the first movie that I watched. I'm not going to say that this role made him, kind of gave him a, a path to go on, but it gave me a person to think about when I thought about the character of Johnny Depp and then see who Johnny Depp, see who he went and became in Pirates mm -hmm. of the Caribbean and this and that. And it, I just saw like it all form in my childhood to adulthood. And so I, I really enjoy it. I really enjoy the scenes, the humor, the the fact that Benny went and back to the park and tried to redo the stupid chair thing is hysterical mm -hmm. to me. Um, there's a lot of little moments in this movie that make it good. I, I don't think it's like top tier for me, but if it's on like, I don't know, I'm just maybe it's nostalgia or something for me, but I'm gonna give it an 85. Didn't you watch 21 Jump Street? <laughs> yeah. I don't remember him in that movie at no, all. The TV show. The no, TV show. The movie. Oh no, I never watched that. Oh, I he was in the TV cameo show. in the movie, doesn't he? He does. That's yeah. why I said that. Okay. All right, new guy Brian, first hey. score ever. Woohoo! Yeah. Uh, oh, first score. But well, we have two Power Rangers shirts, huh? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> um. So for me, uh, I like I don't want to. I don't want to be that guy, but I, I gave it a lower score. <laughs> don't worry, Adam will. It's okay. Adam will. It's good. You're not yeah. that guy. Oh. Just wait. Okay. All right. Good. Adam will um, outscore you. <laughs> if for me, the pacing was slow, and then uh, the only parts that made me like really laugh was the physical comedy. Like mm -hmm. the other, like the awkward, like kind of comedy. That's just not my my thing. Like I like yes. the I like wit, you know. Um, so. But it wasn't it wasn't a bad movie yeah. in, in my opinion. So um, I I was gonna go kind of low for like uh, seventy two ish. Oh, believe me, Adam will be below. That's that. not low. Right. That's not low. Yeah. That's average. It's, you're yeah. good. Yeah, okay. you're fine. Humiliated grape. <laughs> I, I really grape enjoyed it. I I think at the at the end it was just a sweet movie. I mean it it was you know, like like I said I I didn't mind. Julianne Moore. I didn't even mind the character of Ruthie. I just minded a little bit the way she was used as a bit of a script crutch. Yes. But um, but I still I liked everybody in it. I thought the small roles of his friends were mm -hmm. played really well. Mm -hmm. um, and really for very little screen time had very believable personas yes. that you could yeah. you could recognize and understand, which is which takes skill both as a writer, mm -hmm. actor, and a director to get that out of that little screen time. So I, I admired that a great deal. Uh I thought Depp was was good. I I thought his quirkiness was balanced nicely, as I said earlier, with with some real serious and good acting. At times he was a little stiff, like when he was on the bus and just I felt like he 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 was almost stone faced, which is a little strange given the circumstances. But still, yeah. I, I did enjoy his performance. I did enjoy the relationship between them. Um, I love the old silent films i love keaton mm -hmm. i love chaplin harold lloyd so that stuff you know that part of it really resonates with me so that gives it a few extra points you know the same way when there's airplanes and movies that wade gives them extra points <laughs> when you have references to things that i really love you get a few bonus points for that um so it it ends up in an 86 for me. wow all right an 86 Voice. Uh, Rebecca in the comments says, enjoyable, light, and fluffy movie, but not much depth. Back to the Johnny depth. <laughs> mm -hmm. She gives it a 77. She goes with the percentage, but that's fine. Nice. Uh, my mother says, I thought it was a cute movie. Two people who others had given up on finding a new life together. She gives it a 90. Nice. There are a lot of group homes in Beaver Falls filled with people with various mental health problems, and I saw many of them Walking past Reader's Florists, where she was working in the 90s. Yeah. There was Screaming Guy. I remember yeah. she used to tell me about Screaming Guy. Guy just yeah. walked by. It was like, but he wasn't <laughs> screaming, but his, his face was always. <laughs> wow. mm -hmm. You could be that guy. That I could was be pretty that good. Guy. You're, you're doing uh, your uh, Macaulay Culkin from Home Alone? Yes. <laughs> and now, uh, if you might score, I kind of agree with a lot of what people have said. It's not. It is. It's a. It's an interesting movie. Uh, it's good acting. You know, I always go for the. You know, the the directing, the writing, the editing, that all the. As a movie standpoint, it was good. Uh, would I watch it again and again? No, but I'm. I'm glad I watched it. I give it an mm -hmm. eighty-eight. 
Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. Wow. D plus. Uh, I did not like it that much. Um, you know, it's, you know, I think with re- what Rebecca says, it's a light and fluffy movie about a very heavy topic. Yes. Um, so for me, like that balance was hard for me to sort of, I didn't know whether, you know, what I should be enjoying and what I should be worried about. <laughs> um, so I felt sort of, it put me at, you know, I, I, I was not at rest while watching this movie, which typically I would be with a romantic comedy, right? Um, I mean, it, it's good. I agree with so much that everybody says. I'm not going to crap all over it, uh, except for the fact that I gave it a 70. Because um, it's like, it was okay. Um, you know, it, it it's on the cusp of being bad. But it's not bad. <laughs> mm-hmm. So that's where I ended up, uh, is with a 70. All so, right. And then... Uh, well, I'd like to share this that Dave sent over real quick. Oh. Here's... Mm-hmm. Kind of get to see everybody doing it. Wow. That's oh, look at our guy yeah, there. Robert Downey Jr. Oh, he was being chaplain. Uh, Got the mustache. Yeah, it was weird. I'm not sure this kid is up on the top here. This mm-hmm. kid is upload the video. I think it's the guy making the video. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. There you go. Very nice. Oh my! Oh, well, we have uh, Adam, I think, right? <laughs> we do have Adam's. Right? Adam, yeah. here we go. With, with no problem. Adam, with man no. of many words. <laughs> that's high for Adam. I, will I thought that. it was going to be a lot lower. Yeah, for Adam. That's a that's a good score from Adam. I will take it. <laughs> yeah. Above fifty is a good score from Adam. Yeah. Adam grades on his own curve. Mm-hmm. Like, Adam doesn't grade on a curve. Adam grades graves on a knuckleball. <laughs> yeah. Yep. A slider, maybe. Right in the teeth. <laughs> well, you know, that means since we're 40 minutes in and we've already scored, it's time for next week's pick. Oh, is it? wheel of the reels. Wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait oh. oh, wait. Eric has something. Eric has something. I was going to share the score. Oh, yeah, the score. The score for what? this movie, it ended up at a 79.17. Just wow, that's Robocop. That's the Britney <laughs> era. Right the the low space balls. balls. <laughs> oh. okay. I got cool. a bunch right there. Yeah. Do, okay, so I've got like high seventy, like low eighties movies because that's, that's your sweet high. spot. Yeah. <laughs> which is which is not bad. No, well, that's what no, you no, should no, do. Okay. You're on the first page. It's that's better the than the ringer. Thing. I'll take Eric. it. It's For now, the way we're going, though, it's going to start getting full on the second page. <laughs> yeah. Eric, that's the next thing you should do: is average out everyone's movies to see who picks the best movie. Or average out what people's average scores are. So you sort of get a normalized, well, uh, you know, Cody's, is Cody's usually about a 72. So Mine that's not average 85. Cody. It was when you started. Was we'd it? Go, yeah. Because we go, yeah. And then you'd say, 85. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that would be they were just 85. Mo- you know what I'm saying? They're just I do have statistics. I do have 132 shows worth of, 100 and, 106 <laughs> shows of statistics. Yeah. All right. Now. Oh, sorry. I was totally. Right, we, we can talk about. Him. Let's go to the <laughs> wheel of real. Wow. What a wheel. Hmm. I've realized there's no longer actually a You've wheel. You've realized? <laughs> but you know. It's just a cluster. Crap. It's just a ton of names. Uh, so as you know, or maybe you don't, we spin the wheel every week. You're here with us. Uh, you get another space on the wheel. Uh, it's the spinner of your name is picked. Uh, so Brittany and Brian both have one, <laughs> one space on the wheel, but you never know. It only takes one money space Brian. to win. Uh, I know Rebecca and Dan's mom is uh, in the comments. Adam also in the comments. So they've all been added. Some spots. I'm gonna give this a quick shuffle, and uh, we're gonna give it a spin and see who gets to pick the movie for next week. Here we go. Who get the sound effects back? It's just so exciting. Yeah. The anticipation of who it could be. Oh my goodness! It's Richard. <laughs> oh, he's having his vapors. <laughs> 
like quite a few spots on the wheel. He did Watch my curl. Watch yourselves. I'm a bit verklempt. <laughs> so we will turn to Stephen number one. <laughs> Are you guys ready? Yes. Yeah. Robots. Yes. I don't know what that is. Robots. Oh, I do know what that is. Robots. <laughs> I haven't seen that in years. I, I have seen this movie, I believe. I know I our library copy is pretty worn out. That's from oh, 2005. Yeah. This is an animated movie. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. From the I makers of Ice Age. On Hulu. Okay, cool. Uh, and uh, Max Go. Um, and also available for rent at all your favorite places. 2005. Um, also playing on, uh, looks like, uh, I don't know. Just trying to see. Huh, interesting. No, it looks like it's Hulu. Not not a, not not a Disney. Not going to be on Disney, but it's on Hulu. Okay. Um, we and have it. Rent. How about the one thing I forgot to mention? It was interesting. This is the movie that this director directed after was it Christmas Vacation or something like that? It was mm. very strange follow up. Ewan McGregor, Robin Williams, Halle Berry, Mel Brooks, Paula Abdul, Amanda Bynes, and Drew Carr, and Terry Bradshaw. And Terry Bradshaw. Wow. <laughs> Terry Gotta make sure we bring awesome. up the Steelers. What a fine, fine actor he is. I love him. <laughs> He's hilarious. Well, I chose this movie because uh, I kind of hold it near and dear to my heart just from, you know, a couple things, but I'll save all that for next week. I was like, week, what are you so. doing? Spoiler alert. Next week's show. Next week's yep. show. Yeah, I'm excited to talk <laughs> about it. So. <laughs> Well, that's, I, I know I've seen it once, but it's been many, many years. I think in my entire life, I've seen it like three times, and it's all been since I met him. <laughs> I'm the best way, an hour and the best way to watch this movie is to try and pay attention to every detail you can. Uh, I think Dan is really going to like this movie like... Just with the clutch radio stuff. I mean, yeah, I think you were yeah. mm -hmm. See, up there with one of the shortest movies we've ever watched in an hour and 31. That's not long. No. Of course, yeah, animated movies tend to be shorter. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. Well, that's exciting. Right. All right. So it's now time to talk about what else? What else you've been watching? So obviously, probably more than just uh, Benny and June. What else? What has caught your eyeballs this week? I watched the first two episodes of Stranger Things and the first episode of Miss Marvel. I did watch the first episode of Miss Marvel. We have not seen Stranger Things yet. Do you have any? We've quick been to Stranger Things. Oh, I, I do want to watch Stranger Things, but I'm kind of debating waiting until closer to the second half. Coming out in July. No, just do it. It is. It is much. <laughs> two episodes in, it is insanely darker than the first. Yes. Season. It's really and, dark. And it's led to a research and interest in Kate Bush of all people. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my that gosh, was Kate Bush she's is more so popular, popular now than she's ever been. <laughs> who? I don't even know who that is. Yeah. See. I didn't know until Stranger Things. So. Well, I think a couple of her albums. I keep saying, there you go. Oh, the singer lady. I remember now. Singer lady. Yes, the singer lady. The singer lady. You know, George W.'s sister. I don't know. Yeah, so. yeah, After the show last week, we watched Murder on the Orient Express. Which that one? was so good. We watched the remake. The remake. Um, the 2017 from... So the Kenneth, Kenneth Branagh version. Yeah. yeah. Uh, with Johnny Depp. It was, yeah, with Johnny Depp. And uh, <laughs> it was wonderful. Like, I enjoyed it. I've seen it. It was pretty good. I, I actually haven't... I haven't the reviews of uh, Death on the Nile have not been as good. No, oh, it's not as good. <laughs> I actually suggested that to them, but I suggested the old one. Yeah. Oh, the old yeah. One. David Suchet. No, the uh, who was it? Albert Finney. Albert yes. Finney. The, yeah, I don't know the names, but I, I yeah, yeah. I watched the old one. I, we watched. Yeah. I, I was not expecting the movie to go the way that it went, so that was really cool to kind of get thrown off by that. I like that. Missed. Yeah. 
So I like I just have to mention it. Um, Brian was actually the person who told me that I should watch it um, because we're currently playing through a Dungeons and Dragons campaign that I uh, composed and wrote myself. And uh, the first part of it is like a murder mystery train ride. Um, and Brian is like, this is just like murder on the Orient Express. And he's <laughs> like, I bet you like wrote this right out or after it. And I was like, I've never seen the movie before in my life. And when we started watching it, like down to every little detail of the movie, like I had written in my D and D module, and I was like, "This is crazy! Like this is wild!" How? Yeah, I had to pause the movie because I was like, "This is crazy!" How close my description is to that movie? I'd never seen it before in my entire life. Uh, so I was like, "I have to like." Uh, that was awesome. I really enjoyed it. That was one of the reasons I really enjoyed Knives Out as much as I did, was it was like a throwback to the old yes. Agatha Christie type of mystery movies. Yes. Mm -hmm. With a lot of cheese. I thought mm -hmm. they had, uh, it had a lot of cheese, but it was good. I did like that. But it was very enjoyable. Yeah. With a, yeah, oh, with that, yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. I think it's on our list. We just haven't watched it. I finished watching the Real World New Orleans Reunion. Me, me too. <laughs> me too. And I got very teary-eyed because they, they were playing a lot of the music that we played on the radio station back then, because obviously well, that's what I, I was doing there. Uh, right. And it reminded me of all my old friends that I haven't seen in 22 years from New Orleans, because that's right. about... You guys should have a homecoming, Dan. We did we did one uh, show online, but we probably should all just meet in New Orleans now. That would be really cool. I really enjoyed that, and I don't think I watched that real world, because I... I was older than them by then. When I started watching it, I was about the same age as the participants. So, But I remembered some scenes when they showed I'm like, I kind of remember that. So I must have watched some of it. But the, the homecoming was really interesting to watch. And I do not like Julie whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> but that's all. Yeah. It was good. <laughs> yeah, I also, bless you. I also, uh, the, the offer, I've been talking about that every week. The Making of the Godfather. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. amazing show one episode left so if you wait till next week you can binge it all on paramount plus and then last week i somebody i don't know if i mentioned this or not somebody posted they needed to borrow a laptop because their their laptop couldn't edit the thing that they were doing they, they made a local tv show and I, I let them borrow my my work laptop and it's a really good show it's uh, a bunch of kids during the pandemic a bunch of high school kids wrote a show called hetero and it's about this this group that starts the, the gay straight alliance at their high school but there are no straight kids in it and the teacher's like well if you're going to have this group you and you it's the gay straight alliance you have to have some straight people in it <laughs> and it's kind of funny and they shot it at, you know local locally and uh i'll put the link out it's it's i recommend it it's on it's on youtube episode one dropped as the kids say on friday <laughs> there are five episodes total that'll be coming out each friday they had over ten thousand views already, so I mean they've you know it's, they've got a bit of a following. That's awesome. I think that's all I've been watching. Uh, Adam said he took the kids to see Jurassic World Dominion on Saturday, and he said if he had to rate it, he would destroy it. But as a mindless popcorn flick, it was good, to, but it was too. Long. It has Jeff Goldblum. It was uh, two and a half yes, hours. Yes, 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 yes. Two and a half hours. Two and a half. We went yesterday and saw it. It was like two and a half hours. Your money out of that ticket. Think of all the value. Yeah, you're we got, we got the box in the, in the, until it comes out and watch in the show, uh, the offer they talk about the fact the one guy, Tom Hanks' kid, is in it. Colin Hanks, he plays the uh, uppity network guy hmm. or studio guy, and he's like, the movie can't be over two hours because if if you go two and a half hours, then we can only do maybe three or four screenings a day instead of the standard five, and you're losing twenty percent of your money right there. He's like, Ooh. he's all complaining about how many how many times people can pay to go see it mm -hmm. yep. and they, they did sense. the other uh there's something else i was going to say right after that but i mm -hmm. train of thought left squirrel mm -hmm. <laughs> i've watched the first comment? five oh, yeah, episodes yeah, of yeah, I, thought, I mean, on, I know Adam was a little bit harsh, but I felt oh. the same way. I thought it was a popcorn movie. Um, I liked it, but eh. well, what's funny is Rudy Giuliani actually sued Jurassic World Dominion voting machines. He 
he he got it confused just like four yeah, seasons, four seasons lawn, yeah. lawn care i've watched the first five episodes of night sky on amazon prime which i am enjoying but i will say this if you have ever complained about any of the movies on eridan being too slow do not watch <laughs> night sky because you will fall asleep and never wake up. I enjoy it, but it is not for everyone. Yeah, I started watching that. And yes, I forgot that I even started. So now oh. I'm going to have to go back and start all over again, I think. Oh, Sissy Spacek, uh, oh. J.K. Simmons, and uh, yeah, there's, those are the main two characters. Yeah, yeah they basically, I, you can give the plot, right? Some, yeah. Depends up like to you. A, they have like a portal, like they go down in the basement of their shed and it takes them to like some other world. Yeah, you see that in the first episode. Yeah. I think it's in the previews even. Complexities ensue. Yes. <laughs> Wait, my mom's there? Oh, Ensu, not Ansu. Okay. No, no, no not Ansu. Ms. Marvel, not his age demo, so he won't watch any further. <laughs> this from the guy who gave high ratings to Pee Wee's Christmas special. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I will agree. I watched Miss Marvel. It is definitely aimed at a younger audience, but I will absolutely watch anything Marvel, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> and it's I'm really I thought it was good. I'm really glad that you showed his comment because I thought Cody said he watched Miss Marple. Like <laughs> Marvel. Like, wow. It's an Agatha Christie night here on Area. I thought it was. I'm like, wow, look at Cody being all <laughs> Literature based. Marvelous Ms. Marvel. It's a very funny comedy <laughs> show. Never seen it. Oh, it's Maisel. Yeah, that's Maisel. Mm -hmm. I haven't finished that yet. It's another one. And the NBA finals are going on, if you care. Mm. No. <laughs> is Larry Bird still playing? <laughs> the only reason I care is I like watching Steph Curry because I love watching shooters. I don't like yeah. the. I don't like the giant guys who elbow you out of the way and drop the ball through the basket. I like watching guys who can shoot, and he's the best in in ages. Yeah, he is. Unless their arms stretch out like six feet, like Michael Jordan in Space Jam, that's kind of cool. <laughs> I watch that. I would watch Space Jam again. Would you I watch, would watch Space Jam again? Sure. Before I watch actual basketball, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You'd watch the recent LeBron James one. Mm -hmm. If it was that, I or watching an actual it. game, sure. <laughs> wow, we're talking sports, and Eric's engaged. It's amazing. Yeah. Wow. How many sports movies we watched? I mean, obviously, we watched Hoosiers. We've watched way too many sports movies. Watched... Oh, you're telling me I should bring up some more? Oh no! The what longest that? yard. You watch oh, the longest yard. Baseball. I watched that one. That's We've crazy. done a basketball one. We've done a baseball <laughs> one. Which one? Um, Which one? There's probably only one or two yeah. other sports yeah. movies I would have us watch, yeah. but the next one is not, still not sports movie. Oh, Happy yeah. Gilmore, that's golf, right? What about Rollerball. My <laughs> Happy Gilmore is not a sports Happy Ducks, movie, though. Yeah. <laughs> Dodgeball. Dodgeball. <laughs> Dodgeball. <laughs> I saw. Uh, I saw Adam's comment that says he's hyped for a light year. I didn't like really get it, and then I saw like a, somebody posted the other day. I think it was like a meme or something that said the first three sentences of the movie explained the movie better than the trailer did. And oh. it was like in like in the 90s uh, a boy bought a toy. Um, the toy was based off a movie. This is that movie. Yeah. Chris Evans was on a talk show trying to explain it and doing a terrible job. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> I mean, how pissed is Tim Allen? That's my question. Well, but that was the, the justification yeah. was Tim Allen is supposed to be Buzz Lightyear, but he's the voice of a toy. He's the voice of a toy, right. not the voice right. of the Buzz Lightyear from the movie that the toy was created. Like, but no. wouldn't they, wouldn't they, wouldn't they use the? So they're saying the that they could afford the, the actor. Yeah, perhaps. Yeah. You know, if you buy, you know, if you buy a Woody doll, it doesn't necessarily have Tom Hanks' voice. Well, it's pretty close. <laughs> it is pretty close. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't have to be. No. Yeah, I, it does have a great preview. I, it does make yeah. you want to go see the movie. I do want to see I it. I didn't want to see it. I had no desire to see it. <laughs> Until I heard that the first three lines of the movie explained the movie better than the trailer did. Oh, now mm. I might consider it. Now you're all in. <laughs> I'm Honestly, the trailer did not get me excited. I mean, we will definitely go see it. There's no doubt. But I'm not like, you know, I'm not lining up. No. I haven't bought tickets yet. 
Although I did hear the <laughs> Thor, Thor Love and Thunder. Oh, no, no, no. Da, 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 da. no That trailer no. looked good. Slow motion running. That's what we want to watch. Adam, don't make me start picking musicals every time. <laughs> I would watch a musical. Huh? Vangelis died recently, so as an homage to Vangelis, we should watch Chariots of Fire. Oh, Speaking of dying, uh, Mr. Bookman died. Oh, no. Yes, I saw that. Yeah, Philip Baker Hall. Mm -hmm. Listen here, funny boy. <laughs> it's not right. All the old Seinfeld know. people are dying. It's very sad. Oh. I had this is really not. Never mind. I'm not gonna bring it up. Are you, are you, in, a, are you in a death pool? <laughs> no, it was about death, and You're it was. <laughs> Long story short, I had my I had my 11 year class reunion. Yes, it was 11 years. Well, you know, that, COVID. That, that, that's yeah, how Blackhawk was. It was we had 11 a... year reunion for class of 2011 on June 11th. It was a great time. Anyways. I'm, I printed out some pictures, nice pictures of the people that have passed away, unfortunately. And mm -hmm. my phone blew up because no one realized this one girl had passed away. And they're like, oh, my gosh, what happened? And I was like, having to explain to everybody. It was tough. It was a rough time. Mm -hmm. And then yes, she called yeah. saying, I didn't die. <laughs> that would have been so awkward. No. Yes, she, and uh, a couple of announcers have to do an on-air apology because they were there was apparently some TikTok video of some boxer, you know, like who got so punch drunk. He was like fake. Pun he was punching to an empty corner. And they they made a couple jokes about it only for someone to point out that he died afterwards, and so they had to um, backtrack. Oh, <laughs> That's rough. Wow. Yeah, I had I had, when we went to our reunion because we actually finally did a thirty, but I think they did like like an eight, a thirteen, and a third, a seventeenth. They did all these weird numbers with our class. So they find it a 30 and we went and there, I think there were five people on the, on the card table, five pictures of people that had passed. Oh, really? And I, when writing the, the, my sitcom, I have the dad going to his classroom at the same time. And they've got like three banquet tables lined <laughs> with pictures. Mm -hmm. Find his own picture there. Yeah. <laughs> and the guy makes a comment because, you know, at some point there'll just be one of us <laughs> and then there won't be a reunion anymore. <laughs> just put the pictures of the people up who are still around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that is kind of weird to think. Like at some point, there'll just be one person left in the class of 88. Yeah. Or the class of 87. Or the class of 80. Hopefully yeah. one person. It is weird how many. Hopefully that's are us. Left. Yeah. Well, 88, it's got to be, there'll be two people left. Sorry. Wow. <laughs> Way to bring the mood down. Yeah. yeah thanks. Know, right. <laughs> of death. That's Cody. Well, I went to high school graduation yesterday. Uh, my son is official. Well, not officially a, a senior, but they already they graduated the seniors on on Saturday, but they still have another week of school left, which is so oh. weird here. But they do a thing called grad night out, where as soon as graduation's over, kids get changed, they get on a bus, and they don't know where they're going. And there's like a third, an outside company that that is like a like a travel agency basically, and the kids go off. They get on the ferry, and they actually had the this cruise ship come over, this Argosy cruise, which holds you know it's not a cruise ship but it's a it's a big enough boat to hold 250 kids pick them up over here and they went over to seattle and they did and they're gone all night but they need parent volunteers to check the kids in and my wife was in charge of the amnesty bucket so if you had anything you weren't allowed to bring with you that you didn't want to like claim later that might be you know illegal you would throw it in the amnesty bucket and I was one of the security officers. I had to pat down all the guys. I had like a line to make sure people weren't bringing stuff. It was really awkward. <laughs> but I figured out how my, because you're not allowed to bring your cell phone with you. You're not allowed to bring like a ton of money. You're supposed to bring five bucks for the ferry ride home. And that's it. Like the meals are covered. You're not everything. coming home. No, <laughs> well, I figured out for my son, he's going to put an I, his Apple watch in his shoe. So he has a phone if he needs it. And extra cash in his other shoe. Well, James we, Bond, you, we didn't check shoes. Did you just uh, Maxwell Smart his phone? Yeah, he had a shoe phone. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> very true. <clears throat> now I have a question. This is not, totally unrelated to anything. Well, it's related to what this I was talking about. That much. Sorry about that, Chief. Uh, for our proms, didn't we have like overnight? Wasn't it like yes. a long? Like we were locked yes. in the gym. Yes, That's what we I did. thought. Okay. They just stopped that in 2017 because we had a kid overdose the year before. Wow. Ours wasn't overnight. Yeah. We had Donnie Iris at ours. Yes, we Donnie did. Donnie Iris. Donnie Iris and that. Donnie Iris. And the cruisers. We had we had a we had a magician. We had a hypnotist. Yep. 
Yeah. Well, they don't do all that. They don't do much of that anymore. We had a caricature artist too. My yeah. What do they do at prom now? Well, they have Grand March forever. Then they get on a bus and they go to a venue and they dance for two and a half hours. And then they get on the bus and come back to go home. That sounds like exciting. They're home mm-hmm. by midnight. It's ridiculous <laughs> because of this. Wow. But here's the thing. I think they should go back to having it in the school. That was the big problem. We had so much fun at the school. Everybody has to have a venue now. Mm-hmm. It's a waste of money. Well, it's you like destination weddings are all the thing now. Everyone has to go somewhere to have a wedding and make everybody pay through the nose. Yeah. And then and then they still want a gift. I'm like, no, my presence is your present. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, this is taking a dark turn. Yeah, <laughs> Eric's like, This is my life. Venues. <laughs> their venues and their the Eric venues made... are amazing that Eric's been doing lately. Well, for the past <laughs> couple years, I like seeing your pictures. Eric. Eric doesn't do fire halls anymore. I know, I don't think there are very many weddings at fire halls anymore. I don't think. Oh, I think that's still happening. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they just I mean, can't you're afford air. You're just running in a different circle, Stacy. There's, there's, you know, yeah, exactly. I don't go to weddings. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> putting invites us. So, yeah, I've gone to one wedding in like I don't know, however, however many first wedding in Seattle, and I got COVID. So, mm. no more weddings for me. I'm sure if you call the Chippewa Fire Hall and ask them, oh how my many god, weddings I would there. never have a wedding there. That's too teeny. Actually, my friend's daughter had her. Yeah, they did have they have their weddings up in Erie at two different fire halls. Patterson Township anyway, Fire Hall, man. That's that they need to build a new one <laughs> if they're gonna continue that business. Hey, wood wood paneling is coming back in. I, I promise you. <laughs> and oh, the, the bingo board on the corner. Sure. Well, you know, <laughs> people just get bored. You could bust out some bingo. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's funny. Crazy. Well, the, yeah, the new fire nice. halls are making their hall look nice, though. They have they don't have paneling, and yeah, the one up in Harbor Creek was was it looked like a regular hall. Yeah. So. Well, that's awesome. Anybody else have anything else for the good of the order? We went really fast tonight. We did. Lion, we're efficient. We're almost as short as uh, the robots movie. <laughs> So Dan, did you meet any of the people from the real world when yeah. you were down there? Who did, did you meet all of them? All of them. I was on. They had a cable access show. I can't find the footage. I was going to put that up. They had a cable access show. That was their job. Oh, and that was, I was their a guest. Job. I was a guest on their show, and then Julie came to a comedy show, and Melissa came to a comedy show because she wanted to try stand up, and then she moved to L.A. and actually started doing stand up. Oh, really? And then she was on a show with my friend Kira, uh, that was called "Girls Behaving Badly." Yes, I, I heard. And Chelsea her Handler was on that also. Yeah. yeah, Melissa was funny. She, I, I liked her. She's a character. I liked everybody. Julie was getting on my nerves. I felt like she was really <clears throat> acting a lot for that, that whole thing, that homecoming. And then she calmed down. You know, it was strange. I don't know if I would have liked I was, her watching the original though. I was well, and then Kelly worked with us. She came to work at our radio station afterwards. Kelly. So I hang out with her a lot. Scott Wolf's wife. Yes, but she was dating Peter, the the di- yes. dentist or whatever. Yes, that was interesting. That was fun. Oh, that's a good point, uh, Dave. Dave, you can say that out loud. <laughs> you guys were talking. <laughs> the real world. That's what you call the show. R E E L. Uh, Airdan's oh. the real world. Uh, yes. And I came up with a new name to uh, Clutch that's Radio. Keep five, Clutch Radio. Right? What's that? So that'll be season five, right? <laughs> No, we're not rebranding. <laughs> and I was going to rebrand Plus shirt, Radio. Yeah. I, got a, I got a domain name, uh, Car Yada. <laughs> Yada. So you going to want to talk about cars? Knowledge. Yeah, yeah Yada is knowledge. Mm-hmm. That's yada, funny. yada, yada. Okay. And Ohana means family. Yeah. I got one thing I can add to the show before I go, or before we go, I should say. Because I'm not leaving. Yes. Please. I don't typically brag about expensive things that I buy. Ooh. Yeah, but when I, I do. But I went to the gas station today. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That was depressing. <laughs> well, <it> was. <laughs> I haven't been to a gas station. No, I, have, I actually have had to go to the gas station. Uh, oh, car. They see me right where I was going. <laughs> $68 for 14 gallons. Ooh. That's cheap. Cost me yeah, that's cheap. Now we're still three dollars cheaper than Europe, so 
Yeah. What are you guys at <laughs> down there, Stacy? What? We're at about five bucks a gallon. Five oh nine. Yeah. I paid five oh nine. Okay. Now you go to Costco or one of the warehouse clubs and save twenty cents or so, but it's about five a gallon. Listen, but then you gotta get there. <laughs> they're making so much money; they're starting to donate money to charity now. All of a sudden. Oh, oh the they do that every are? year, Cody. It was a joke. Oh, it was a joke. Eric, you're supposed know. to hit the da da bum bum. Oh, sorry. <laughs> there you go, Cody. Oh, and I thought of Reagan because for going back to um, Benny and June, the director of Benny and June directed five episodes of Chuck. Oh, mm -hmm. my goodness. I wonder which one. Somebody call Reagan right now. Get her on the phone. Mm -hmm. uh, Reagan's hard the, to get a hold of. We hardly ever hear from her. Is that the movie? Speaking of Reagan, these gas prices are going to have all of us just running around. <laughs> it's trickle down. Walking, walking, around. Around. walking around. We're not running anywhere. We're just walking now. You'll be walking around like Harrison Ford. I just, <laughs> this joke has gotten sore in the past. <laughs> and one of the politicians did it. Uh, that it's cheaper to buy cocaine and run everywhere. <laughs> and somebody's like, you can get cocaine for $5 a gallon? Yeah. I think it was Kimmel made that joke. <laughs> I think Kimmel did, but then there's another, like a politician made the joke joke <sighs> that's been all over the place. Nothing yeah. worse than hacky politicians. Oh my goodness. I got a new toy. Oh, Speaking of robots. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see it. Ooh. Cool Whoa. Camera. He's got a gyroscopic camera. Um, that's pretty nifty. Yeah, well, I have a drone, and I was carrying my drone around, and I was like, "Oh, this is kind of cool. Like, you can just move it around like a chicken head. Oh, look at, it. oh, you can move around like a chicken head, and it just kind of stays balanced." Mm -hmm. I was like, "Boy, it would be so cool if they made that like on a stick." And is then that I a DJI? On, yeah, I went on Amazon, and they had them. I, so, I have the version of that without the little red ringer on the outside. <laughs> no, <laughs> I have version one of that. It reminds me of Wally. -E. Yeah, it needs some little googly eyes on it, Dan. <laughs> I can hear that eyes. Yes. Be perfect. Yeah. Eyes on it. So I'm going to start doing some new car videos. Cool. And I'm going to use this for that. I remember we tried to make a uh, steady cam out of like uh, just a tripod Chicken? one time. Yeah. I, I can't show you, but I remember uh, that. Yeah. We, yeah, did, you remember we that disconnected one of the legs. Yeah. And then you just hold on to that leg and it kind of acts like a stabilizer. Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Uh, or you just strap a camera to a chicken's head and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> it was it was pretty fun. It didn't work exactly the way we wanted, but it worked well enough. It was better than not having one, right? Yeah. And it was it was cheap, so yeah. Mm, yeah, cheap is good. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. In case you guys didn't know, I am like one of Brian's A-list actors in some of the films <laughs> he made in college. Right. Yeah. And Brittany and I'm definitely B-list. <laughs> I'm can we get probably B-list. Yeah. What? Oh, I'll get you a link right now. Hang on. I, I know which one I'm. Oh, new. oh boy. Which Hang one? On. I might have. I no. I t if it's my Vimeo, I took them and made no, them private. I'm gonna find it. I'm uh, gonna find it. You posted uh, it on YouTube. I thought the one. Oh yes. Hang on. The 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 first one, but the other one. Amazing race. Too keen. I put them on private because I'm trying to get a, a job and I wanted uh, a newer demo reel stuff up. To oh, be so the you're gonna find it for us right see. now. Can I can I find it? <laughs> I, He's like, no thanks. I He's clearly can find it, but I don't know if it should go on the show. Link, no, link in the Amazing Race. Do it, please. The uh, oh the. That's right. a good one with freaking okay. Mitch. Yeah. Mitch, yes. It is like well, I mean, on these, Brian. What was it? Did you get graded on these? Were these projects for class? Yes, yeah. yes, yeah, I did. I got an A on this on the one he's asking. Oh, I see. Which was I weird. Think... He was an accounting major, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they have accounting at Edinburgh. <laughs> I don't know. They, they might they have they might some kind of more. business. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. What I'm trying, I'm gonna just uh, make it available on YouTube. No, on Vimeo. Just make uh, it available by only if you have the link, so that way nobody can search yeah. it. And then just post the link. <laughs> Only you and people on your account can Great access. Job, <laughs> <laughs> a cute no, explosion that? going on. Or just make it private or public, whatever. I don't know. Let's let's see if I that really... works. 
It might work. Right, no, that's privacy. That's that doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. Ooh, it worked for me. Oh my gosh, Cody, what is happening with your face? All right, I got oh it. Oh my gosh. Oh, it worked for me. Oh no. Yeah. That, <laughs> that's right. actually my first uh like short film in what in the film major. So, this, this is baby me. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Holy <Look> moly! Yeah. <laughs> Brittany's in this too. I am. What did I do this, in this? Uh, you played a demon. <laughs> yeah, life moves so fast. Everyone's always striving to get from point A to point B, never really stopping to see what's right in front of them. Oh, no. uh, my addiction ruled my life. I used to get so messed up and angry. All right, he's I drunk. Anyone to look at me uh, That's Cody every know. day. No weekends. One night, I picked a fight with this guy that was twice my size. <laughs> wow, awesome he had a fire fights. in his eyes. Oh, his sleeves are going up. Fist felt like oh. stone. If they pull out two bananas, I'm I'm excited. <laughs> Nobody gets that reference. That night, I laid in the alley. Half dead. That's when I saw him. He held out his hand to me and smiled. I've been following him ever since. Mitch. Mitch. After that night, everything was different. Well, that That's when I first saw him. They looked like regular people, but no one pays attention. Yeah, that one right there. It was twisted. No, that's despicable. But I saw them. Aaron, I think. But I, heard I definitely them. threw that phone in the road. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, you did that. Free rain over the city. <laughs> oh, Zach. What does the prince have to say? Nobody cares about him anymore. Ain't nobody seen him around a decade. So what the body says, my hair was so. Father ain't gonna like pretty good acting. No, it was terrible. Is that Cody? Yep. I heard him talking about this girl. Are they gonna screw with her and try to push her over the edge? I wasn't gonna stand for that. Oh, 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 Aaron was a girl. No, who's that? Oh, I love you. I forget her Allison name. Allison Hannigan. You deserve to live. It's one time at Bank. Stop! Camp. Leave her alone. <laughs> Cody. <laughs> so much passion. Nick Van Horn. You can always call on him. The one who saves will always come. Wow, look at that baby face. This is not your fight. It's so gross. In this world, there may be trials. The Peyton Manning? Still, <laughs> I've overcome the world. Wow. Ooh. Oh. Nice. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going or where I'll end up, but I do know I will never faint. I will not grow weary. I will run this race with endurance because if he is with me, who can stand against? <laughs> oh, wow. Is that it? Yay! Yep. Yeah. 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 That's amazing. Definitely a college movie, but I think that was really good. I think you deserved an A. Like special thanks for the use of their camera. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was a $3,000 camera. Yeah, I was I was scared to film with it. Yeah, and you're out at night. Somebody yeah. can come clonk you on okay, the head. It was a little Actually, slow. I thought the director had a good drink. <laughs> <laughs> nice. uh, Adam gives it a 52. <laughs> Brian, <laughs> how long ago was that? Brian, how long ago was that? Uh, 2012. Yeah. Is that your senior year? or? That was my freshman year. Oh, mm -hmm. Well, dang. Uh, yeah. um, but I remember, and I tell this story to people uh, when, when we're talking. Um, yeah. Me and Cody were in a car. Uh, do you remember this, Cody? Uh, you got this a little bit more. And I okay. Might well, well, right after we got done filming one night, like, oh! really late. Yeah. And like he forgot to turn his headlights on and the cops pulled us over. And yeah. And I was just like sitting there and, and he's like freaking out. I remember he thought they were going to like arrest him and stuff. I'm like, dude, just be polite, you know, mm -hmm. tell them what we're going to, we're, we're going back to the college. That's it. We just filmed the movie. 
and that's what we did and we we were we were okay but yes. they did call for backup they did <laughs> they i don't know why came. i was so confused <laughs> yeah before they even came up to the window they called for backup <laughs> yeah like we have your autograph right here on the citation <laughs> yeah we're gonna have to confiscate this camera <laughs> <laughs> that would have been bad <laughs> yeah yep. and what were you talking about with two bananas i'm so confused don't the fight. no no wait with two bananas oh, okay you what? and you and me the fight with two giant bananas fight with no. two bananas never seen it <laughs> I, I i wow sorry i even missed that i thought maybe he was referring to uh the michael buble tiktok <laughs> <laughs> Oh, jeez. Oh, what? <laughs> Jason Bourne. <laughs> Was that really Michael Bublé? Yeah, that's really yeah. Oh, my gosh. Uh, that's funny. He, he has a fabulous TikTok page. That's funny. Mm. My gosh. I was talking about the old opening. Where is the old opening? Oh, she was the doc. What old? Uh, you're, you're talking about the... You're talking about the... The, 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 uh, the old one. You're talking oh. about the Facebook social hour thing, aren't you? With oh, that's right. That was a social hour. Yeah, that's a whole. Did we, did we get a close up on the baby? Look at the baby's face. <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah! Ah! <laughs> baby, there it is. Hi, baby. She's trying to eat the microphone. Um, <laughs> Mina, Mina. Steven. Steven. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's it. <laughs> she she's loving it. Wow, that's awesome. Cute. You guys probably cool. didn't hear it, but she totally farted on me and then laughed. <laughs> <laughs> she's like her uncle, isn't she? Yes, yeah, she is. Nice, yes, ma'am. Wow. That's uh, it. All right. <laughs> all right. I agree with that. All right. All right. Next week. <laughs> We will be robots. Robots. Saturday, Dan. Saturday, 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 Saturday. We'll be driving uh, probably a 1981 Chevy Monte Carlo Ooh. with a, with a steady engine. cam with a land a Martin Landau roof and a steady cam. And maybe and no, the steady <laughs> cam, it'll still be my phone, but audio. Uh, Rafi and I will each have our own, our own little, uh, yes, little, 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 little like. also <laughs> DJI. Wow. I'm, I'm anxious to hear the sound quality. That should be better for that. Yeah. For this is not. This is always going to be better. That's yeah. always going to be better. But in the car, in the car, this will be better than just the phone. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you everybody for joining us. We will be back next week, oh, wow. Monday night again. Monday night. Woo! Eastern, Five p.m. Pacific. Uh, specific. specific. Same specific. robot time. Very specific. Same robot channel. <laughs> and remember, the end of the month, Seinfeld night. That's true. You've got watch, your Seinfeld. Gonna watch some more of that. You got two weeks to consume a little Seinfeld so that we can discuss. Little bit of Seinfeld. In- <laughs> the gentleman is a little bit of Marple. That was 19. That was 2000 in uh, New Orleans. We're, we're actually the first ones to play that song. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we had that, that and we had Who Let the Dogs Out. How many really? times? Well, yeah. one one you can claim credit for, and one you can take blame for. <laughs> I remember when I figured out what that song meant, and I died laughing. What Mamba Number Five? No, who let the dog go? Okay. All right. It, it just caught me off guard as a kid that I didn't recognize that. Okay. I don't think I know what you're talking about. You don't know what that means? No. No, that's okay. We'll find it. <laughs> I'll Google it later. It's nothing. It's not horrible. It's just not great. It has to do with death. Sort of like no, 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 no death, no death. <laughs> it's taking a dark turn. <laughs> oh, I know what that is. Welcome to Off the Rails Radio. No, I'm yeah. not going to share that. Did Adam disappear? It is not nice. All right, Adam. everybody, have a wonderful week. We will you see do. you on Bye. Monday. Good night. Bye. 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 I don't see ya. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night.